Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Publisher gives you margin guides that appear on screen to assist you in staying within the printable page area. Margin guides are one type of layout guide that you can use when designing publications. In this lesson you will learn about the other types of layout guides such as ruler guides, baseline guides, and grid guides. You can add grid lines to your publication by using the buttons available in the layout section of the page design tab within the ribbon. To add a ruler guide to your page for object alignment, click the guides button in the layout button group on the page design tab and then choose a set of ruler guides to add from the drop down menu. You could also select the add horizontal ruler guide or add vertical ruler guide command from this button's drop down menu to add a single horizontal or vertical ruler guide to the center of the page. You can also add ruler guides to your page by clicking directly into the ruler and then dragging your mouse pointer down into the page to place a ruler guide at the location at which you release your mouse button. You can adjust the position of ruler guides on screen by clicking and dragging them to a new location with your mouse. To do this, simply place your mouse pointer over the ruler guide until your mouse pointer turns into a double pointed line intersected by an arrow. Then click and drag the guide to the desired location in the publication. To remove a ruler guide, click and drag it off the publication page into the scratch area. To view the grid and baseline guides, click the guides button that appears in the layout button group on the page design tab and then select the grid and baseline guides command from the menu's drop down button. In the layout guides dialog box, the grid guides tab will appear. You can create additional columns and rows within a page using the settings on this tab. Enter the number of columns to appear within the page into the Columns Spinner Box in the Column Guides section. Enter the desired column spacing to allocate by using the Spacing Spinner button in the Column Guides section. Then enter the number of rows to have within the page into the Rows Spinner Box in the Row Guides section. Enter the spacing to allocate between the rows within the Spacing Spinner Box in the Row Guides section as well. If you wish to indicate the center between the columns and rows you have added, check the Add Center Guide Between Columns and Rows checkbox. This will place a pink guide that indicates the center between the columns and rows to your page. When finished adding columns and rows, click the OK button to apply them to the page. To add baseline guides, which allow you to align text lines across multiple columns, click the Guides button in the Layout button group on the Page Design tab and then select the Grid and Baseline Guides command from the drop down menu. Click the Baseline Guides tab within the Layout Guides dialog box. Enter the desired point values for the spacing and offset of the baseline guides into the spinner boxes of the same names. After entering the desired values, click the OK button to apply them. To view the baseline guides in your publication, check the Baselines checkbox that appears in the Show button group on the View tab in the ribbon. To ensure objects added to your page snap to the nearest baseline or page object for alignment purposes, check either or both of the Guides and Objects checkboxes that appear in the Align To section of the Layout button group on the Page Design tab. Then when you add objects to the page, you will see small pink lines appear next to objects to show you when an object is aligned with a nearby guide or with another page object as you drag it around on screen. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.